slaves will be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, if they felt safe at the plantation, do you think they would rebel? <laughs> of course. It is their animal nature. Violence is the only currency that motivates them. Like coin, do you? If you really want to protect your African friends, spread the word. Quiet them down. Otherwise... You need not describe. I know what you do. Well, I could not raise a hand to hurt a fly. But the overseers have every right to discipline as they see fit. Will not be necessary. I will deliver your message. The cost will be high. We will both profit by it. Is there any other service you require? Gouverneur. Oh, an old man like me. I dare say Guzan has exhausted me already. Then show yourself out. Madame Joseph. Expecting a package. It. But not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templars' coin, like any, will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this man. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor. And an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you mean? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. And you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Pas mal. A convincing baritone. Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. Monsieur Adwele, the Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustin speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustin has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. I believe you owe me a parcel, then. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. You are not a man of your word. My word was perhaps. It stands. How little you must think of me. On the contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. Since you cannot provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must know what distracts him and why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps there is some honor in you yet.
You will need a disguise. Please, change into these. A slave's rags. What do you mean by this indignity? Do you mean to see me recapture? Indignity? Do you hold your enslaved brothers in such low esteem? Do you hold any man in high esteem? Or are we all pawns to you? <laughs> you should be so lucky. There is no trick. It is only that... Well... The Gouverneur de Fayette will host a soirée soon. And imagine... I am not invited. <laughs> the excess of the occasion calls for an abundance of supplies to be delivered to his mansion. That's where you come in. With your crate, you will blend in with the men delivering the goods. Once on the ground, you can spy on the good gouverneur. Will the overseers not notice one man extra? Or are you simply unconcerned for my well-being? <laughs> I've never met an overseer who could tell two slaves apart. Nevertheless, be careful. I sense you are as bright as you are strong. You will figure it out. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. What's going on back there? Fall in line! <laughs> Alors, what have you learned? The governor is overconfident. Despite his guard, I could have ended him with my bare hands. He would have deserved it. What makes you believe you need him? I keep my friends close, and my enemies closer. Which camp are you in? Will you tell me what you have learned? Who distracts him? A bold-faced scientist, Godin, hounds the governor for funds. Something about an expedition navigational secrets. Why is this the first time I hear of him? Is my whole network turned against me? Does the harbor master think I give him my best girls out of kindness? Do you wish me to investigate further? I admit, as a man of the sea, the science of navigation intrigues me. No. Yes. I don't know. As you wish, but leave me, I must think. Bastien, I feel we lost you to the bitterness of depression. Never. Those arrogant men cannot cut me out of my own network. The cost is too great for the slaves. And for your pride. What does it matter? So long as I work for their freedom. Whatever has inspired it, I'm glad to hear the fight back in your voice. How can I help? The scientist, Godin. What is his full purpose here? Can you find that out? Whatever secrets he carries, I will uncover. Start with the harbor master. He sees everyone who comes and goes. He should have kept me informed. Alors, what did you find? An opportunity beyond imagination. These scientists aim to record navigational secrets for our beloved kings to use at war. But we can seize them to extraordinary advantage for my brotherhood and the Maroon. We need only supply literate recruits, and the rest will take care of itself. That is all. Nothing more on the governor. That is all? <laughs> that is everything! How many more could be freed with this knowledge in our hands? 
All things require balance, Adewale. To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability, anonymity, and information. That has always been my role. What now? That is what I thought. The storm brought you in, and you will leave on the tempest of opportunity and imagination. And I will be left here to do what I can. Powerless. No, any day now the Maroons will rise up. Then I will leave, not before I've decided. You are as arrogant as the French. Brina, all of you. That is all you are. Bastian? No, go now. Adewale, your ambition still gives me pause, but I promised Auguste my help. What's this? The Forge Manifest, or so I am told. One of your famous recruits wrote it. Joachim Francois, Henry Marchand, Fortuné Jean. Good. I'm sure you will serve the expedition well. Louis Godin will meet with the harbor master to arrange the remaining affairs of your expeditionary voyage. You may take the opportunity to switch the manifest. At your signal, we will be ready to board. Thank you. And thank you, Bastien. Anything for the Mahon of Saint Domingue. Ade. Auguste has learned of another slave ship to intercept. I beg you to reconsider. Special orders from the sometimes confidant, the governor. No, it is as I feared. With all the slaves you have freed, the French are in panic. Let the French live in the fear they earned. It is not so simple. Curfews are strict. Punishments are harsher and more frequent. You help the ones you freed, but at what cost to the ones you can't? A small price for independence. The sooner Augustine's revolution comes, the sooner all slaves will live in peace as free people. Gouverneur de Fayette threatens retaliation. And he is behind this. No, Adwali. Not another word. I don't want to hear it. Gouverneur de Fayette. I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. You tried to warn me. We are all guilty. The governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. C'est la main. C'est raté. Revenge is cold comfort. Once de Fayette is gone. Another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, they're leaving life. We will always mourn them. It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, he lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins. 
and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to serve this to. I will keep it for memory. 